starting out on plastering, I'm going to show you the, the main tools you're going to need for starting any plastering job. Um, so obviously you're probably a beginner, a DIYer, or an apprentice getting into the plastering trade. I'm going to show you the main tools to focus on getting and breaking in. So the main tools you're going to need will be a hawk and trowel. Again, this is the the make of trowels that I typically use. Not just Marshalltown, um, Rafina, Tezak, Spear and Jackson ones as well, and a few Ox ones. Also Ragnar, but basically I just want to just talk about the actual tools you'll need. Um, so, like I said, mainly going to be a, a trowel and a hawk, a handboard, and that'll be your main tools for a plan and then you can do everything with the trowel you can do the whole thing just with the stainless steel trowel or a, a carbon steel trowel as well it doesn't have to be stainless steel just think they're that bit easier to clean and keep maintained again the hawk you know you can just have a, a standard normal hawk or a marshall town hawk um but i do do prefer them pointsman's ones again not even sure they're still going but so that will be your your main plan tools that if you're going to start plastering and you're working for somebody they may have all the other tools they may have some spare stuff that you can use as well but on top of that what you're then going to need guys is water brushes um, again you know you can go a bigger one and then get a smaller one for cleaning the angles and the corners and stuff and um, the next that one's actually great once it's wet it actually it's actually very very fine and broken so it's good for the corners and again it's something you use for washing up your tools another tool nearly every tradesman should have is a hammer this hammer is nice and heavy but again claw hammer um, great for pulling out nails knocking off snatters putting nails in as well um, so you, you'll definitely will need that and possibly then a tape measure and snips the other tool you most likely will need especially for sand cementing will be a float poly float and that's for working up the sand cement making it smooth and then you'll pick up just a, a cheap sponge again if you are you're trying to learn this if you're getting into the the, the trade these are the basic tools you need right here um, if you are jumping in with a squad you know you're just an apprentice hopefully they're not they're not too tight with their tools and they let, let you use their straight edges and their, their tin snips and their tape measures as well but again if you have these basic tools starting out you'll be able to get a start at least for a couple of weeks to gather up some money to then start advancing and that's what I'm going to talk about in a minute um, so basically something I always go on about guys as well is two plastic trials so I have one that I get broken for skim and then what I start doing is I actually start applying my renders and my plasters with a, a newer one and that for the reason is if you break a trowel or you get a damaged trowel neck in it that you have a backup and a spare one that you can just just start using straight away and um, so as you advance again depending on your job if you're on sites you won't necessarily need a small trowel but if you're doing a lot of domestic with the people you're working with or you know your diy job whatever it is you might want to then adapt and get in a small a small trowel and they're just great for around door frames archives hard to get out places they're brilliant and again if you're really advancing you might want a, an angle trowel a wet angle trowel um, again they just help you do around the corner help you get things going and you, go, you will need snips and a stanley knife you'll need a stanley knife going forward as well and then you're going to want to start thinking about when we're already talking about hard to get at places a point and trail and then a bucket scoop and again I've had that, that particular bucket scoop for a very very long time and you can see it, it is starting to crack there do have a, a backup and you can see how war in this do have a backup as well but there it is um, 
again guys even when you're if you're learning um i do recommend you learn how to do it the hard way the old way um just with the basic trials but then you're going to want to advance into getting like a flexi trail this one right now again there's lots of makes hopefully your boss can let you try out his trail on a wall or two and you may think no i don't really like that one you can maybe try a different make but if you do like it you can just use it then and um, could go into a lot more tools for plastering but these are to me this is your basic tools and then when you're starting to advance the things you're going to want to pick up obviously buckets and things as well um, but even if you get a couple of buckets just to store your tools for the time being would be good um, but I think that's it on the tools you need for plastering especially starting out sort of apprentice level tools and then obviously you know you're going to advance further and you won't need me to actually tell you what tools you need you'll know Hopefully this video has been quite helpful for you starting out in your plastering journey um, Again, if not, um, you know, if I've missed anything, definitely let me know you probably say sponge float or something, but like I say, I'm trying to pin this on for the apprentice plasters um, I was going to do some coins today, but the weather's been absolutely crazy, so don't worry that video is coming for everybody that voted for it on the on the channel um, and if you want to you know drop a comment on that poll or vote for something else now is the time to do it because I haven't actually got around to, to creating that video yet either so like, look at the, the cloud up there it's a bit raining on and off um, but yeah so hopefully in the future as well I can direct people to this video to help them out on on certain tools and again whatever i missed out there guys let me know or let me know your favorite trial what you're using right now